Hey. Public speaking sucks. I'll be honest <laughs> about it. I knew this was going to be hard. I knew this class was going to be hard. I just really had no idea how hard it was actually going to be. I learned a lot this quarter about public speaking, how I'm never going to do it again, mm -hmm. and about myself. I thought, honestly, that it would get easier, and in some aspects it has. Research, writing outlines, doing my um, little APA format at the end, the actual speaking in front of all of you, not so much. No. <laughs> Today I'm going to present my portfolio, and I'm going to cover some of my past speeches, things that I learned, and my reactions to the speech. And that's about as far as I got is writing this out, so the rest of it is just winging it. I guess starting with the first speech when we had to pick a significant individual, it was really hard for me to pick just somebody, someone, um, because I've been really blessed in my life to have some really amazing people in it. And it made me appreciate my kids even more when I did decide to do my speech on them. The speech on why somebody should hire me was really hard because I don't like talking about myself. I don't like answering questions. I hate being put on the spot more than anything. And the whole question thing over here with everybody staring at me really sucked. I'm just going to tell you, Mr. Vendity, that sucked. <laughs> yeah. I'm brutally honest. I'm very sorry. That's just it. But I actually enjoyed the public speaking in another country speech. I got to learn a lot about a country that probably I never would have, and it's actually on my bucket list now, places I want to visit. Uh, it was just, so I, I thank you for that. It was, I mean, it was hard. It was the most labor intensive of all the speeches, but, you know, I, I really enjoyed it not actually giving it, but the research aspect of it. Uh, things that I learned in this class, I learned that I fidget a lot, a lot. I play with my hair a bit too much, I saw that in my speech. I play with my jewelry too much, saw that in my speech. I learned that I can do anything for a short amount of time. Uh, it's something my mom had always told me and I knew I could do it based on you know, army basic training and stuff, because that sucked, but I have to say it sucked worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather do basic training again. But you can do anything for a short amount of time. Uh, and honestly, and I would say that this is probably a hard class for me to start out with because I've been home for nine years with my kids. And so I was I thought I was gonna ease my way into no, not so much. Mm -hmm. I uh, but then I since we had to do some readings for to make us a better person, I actually read the book that my grandpa wrote. Mm -hmm. And it's called I Am Third and it made me realize that, you know, going to school and with my two kids and my husband that's kind of annoyingly supportive was, uh, I have it really easy. Because my grandpa went to school full time, was able to get two bachelor's degrees and a master's degree while being married and having seven kids under the age of nine. So if he can do it, there's no reason why I can't suffer through this class or any other one that comes up. Especially, and to keep a good attitude about it. That's one of the things that I, I also got out of this, is my grandpa is the happiest, most positive person that you'll probably ever encounter. He will remember something about everybody he meets, and when he does meet you, and if he knows he's never gonna see you again, he will make you feel like you're the only person on the planet. Um, probably why he did so well in his career. Uh, I learned that 
I lip smack a bit too much. <laughs> Which I think I just did it. Yeah. Actually, so there you go. <laughs> now I know what it is because I had no idea. I learned that I don't say um nearly as much as I thought. I learned that I don't, when I feel like I'm blushing, I'm not nearly as red as I think that I am. And that most of you can't tell, which is nice. And and I totally just got lost. Are they now? <laughs> nice, yeah. Now that I said I don't get red, yeah. That's how that works. I actually liked the parts of the portfolio where we had to write down ideas and thoughts and things that we've learned throughout the quarter. Um, I picked out a story from my grandpa's book for my humor. It's, it kind of explains where all of my family gets our kind of sarcasm from. There's actually two of them, but first one is when my grandpa was little, he would when he would misbehave, and he said he used to misbehave all the time. My grandma, my great grandma, would tell him, you know, Fred, go out and cut a switch off that bush out there. So he'd say, well, what are you going to do with it? She's like, well, I'm going to beat you within one inch of your life. So his response to her was, well, you didn't raise any stupid children, so why am I going to go outside and get you a weapon to beat me with? <laughs> Usually that would get him off, because she'd laugh and tell him that she was not going to be that easy on him next time. Also, another story was when my oldest uncle, he died of cancer a few years ago, um, when he was dying, he moved in with my aunt, and uh, they liked to play pranks on each other, and it usually had to do with cooking. So uh, when he was making cupcakes and he left, left them to cool, my aunt came in and cut all the tops off and then mm -hmm. put them back on. So that when he'd go to frost them, they'd all fall off. <laughs> <laughs> so it, when, for him to retaliate, he knew that it was her turn to cook next, so he went and hard-boiled all the eggs in the house and then put them all back in the container. So when she went to go cook, she's cracking them and they're, and every single one of them was hard-boiled. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, we're all like that, so you can imagine what family gatherings were like at my house. Um, so, I mean, I kind of lost again, but I, I kind of covered some of my speeches. I learned, I talked about things that I learned and my reaction to my speeches. And I just wanted to say that I am grateful that I took this class. I'm grateful for the things that I learned. I'm grateful that Mr. Venditti pushes us as hard as he does. And that I'm, and I'm glad that I didn't dropped the class like I thought about doing and just powered through it because now I know that I can do something that's really uncomfortable for me and be okay at it. So thank you.